Hi guys, it's France. Welcome to episode 2 in the Mixed Media Shorty series. This episode is dedicated to the rookie mixed media artist among you. Uh, I'm working only with very few very basic products and the first thing I'm applying on my tag is a napkin that I stole in my own kitchen and I'm just gluing it down using gesso. I separated the layers of the napkin so that I only have the top layer and now I'm gluing it on my tag using gesso. If you don't have a brayer like I used, you can use a bone folder or a credit card or whatever you have at hand, just be careful not to tear the paper. Once everything is dried, I'm taking the excess napkin off and then I can proceed to the next step, which is to add a piece of old book page and you will see that I don't use any glue whatsoever to make this tag. I only use gesso. So I'm tearing the paper to the size that I want to use it. And I'm applying gesso as a glue. Taking the excess of the gesso from my paintbrush so that I can use it to blend the old book page with the napkin and I'm also using the gesso to blend the edges of the napkin. Uh, I had some pieces ripped off where I didn't want any piece rip, ripped off and as I don't have any color anymore on my tag and I don't want to use any other product, I'm just blending it using gesso. The fabric of the, well the paper actually, of the napkin is so thin that when you glue it down with gesso, the gesso peeks through and it also blends everything nicely together. Again, taking the excess off and blending the edge some more with gesso. If you don't have a um, heat gun to try it, just leave it to air dry. Gesso dries really, really fast. Now I'm going in with my stencil and as I said, I want to limit myself to the, the amount of products that I'm using on this tag. And what I like about this stencil is that on one stencil, you have a lot of designs, which are very fun to use if you like art channeling. So I'm dabbing the gesso over the stencil, just using a sponge. and playing around with the different uh, designs that I have on the stencil. Now I decided to just go with white, but if you have any ink or um, acrylic paint, you could use that or you could use your um, ink to colorize your gesso. So you don't need to buy 30,000 products to have fun and enjoy yourself in mixed media. I added some water to my gesso so that I can splatter it around and then again drying it. Now I'm using the gesso to add an edge to the tag. So I'm just wiping the, the edges of the tag to the gesso. If you don't have this kind of punch, you can just use a perforator. And then again, I decide to add some more uh, stenciling. I want to have a repeated pattern on my paper. So I chose one of the designs on the stencil and I'm adding, and I'm adding it three times to obtain my repeated pattern. Now this is the second uh, product that I'm allowing myself and this is archival ink. And again, I'm using a piece of old book page to stamp on. So I'm allowing myself one stamp um, as well. This is one of my um, stampatique stamps. So I added a tiny bit of gesso on top of the paper to make the fibers um, of the old paper pop up just a bit. And now I'm tearing my paper to the right size so that I can add it to my tag. checking out where I want to have it, but before I do so, I distress the edges a bit more, just using my scissors. And 
and then using the archival ink to add a black edge to the paper which will give it a bit of a burnt look. So now that I know where I want to have my text again I'm using gesso just as a glue. To add more of an edge to the tag, I'm rubbing the black archival ink over the tag and this will define um, the edges more and will attract the eye. I'm giving this piece of hoarded ribbon the same treatment as I gave the tag, so I'm, I'm adding some gesso and then afterwards I will be adding some uh, archival ink so that it works together with the tag and heating it with the heat gun will slightly burn the fibers, which will give it a very interesting look. This video is seven minutes long and it took me 15 minutes to get this tag done. Just dressing the edge of the ribbon with my scissors and my fingers to rip the fibers apart and then adding the archival ink. I like to add some sewing, but I didn't want to use my sewing machine on this one. So you could sew by hand, which I don't have the patience for. So I just use a black pen to go around and add a doodled edge. That's it for today. I hope you liked today's video. If so, don't forget to hit the like button. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Both are very much appreciated. And see you back next time. Ta-da!